abandoned ship into the longboat. Today I'm going to show you how a lifeboat works, the life-saving equipment inside, and, well, taste emergency ration. There is a 360 version that gives you a more interactive experience, so make sure to check it out afterwards. Do note that different ships have different types and size of lifeboats. There are tons of manufacturers out there, and they all make different models, either open or totally enclosed, David launched or free fall. So if you're new to a ship, make sure to read the manuals on how to operate one. It might just save your life. Ours is a David launch type. The two cradles swings out and lower the lifeboat by fall wire when activated. Let's check out the inside first. We'll be going in from the aft hatch. As you can tell, the interiors aren't that comfortable. Everything is designed only for survival in mind, which is to fit as many people as possible. The space inside the boat is like an oval, with the center blocked off by structural reinforcements. The orange bits are padding and cushions. The lifeboat equipment is mostly stored under the seats in compartments. This is the command console, combing seat. Take a closer look at the control console. We have the engine ignition, steering wheel, throttle, compass, lights, hydrostatic hook release, and painter release. Underneath where I'm sitting is the diesel engine. Next to the seat is this remote wire that's connected to the brake governor. It's part of the system to lower the lifeboat, which you can do so from two locations outside or inside the boat. No matter which way, first there's three securing pins that we must take out. Two each on the cradle stoppers and one on the brake governor. From the outside, you can just lift up the brake governor and the cradle will swing out. If the seas are calm, you should release an embarkation ladder and climb down. Only in emergency situations should you ever jump into the water directly because it's quite dangerous. You have to worry about debris, hypothermia, and swimming in rough seas. To lower from the inside, you can just pull onto the remote wire that I talked about as it is connected to the brake governor. Either way, once the boat is in or near the water, activate the hydrostatic hook release and you're good to go. And now, on to the lifeboat equipment. The life-saving equipment are standard and found in most, if not all, lifeboats because IMO enforces it under a SOLAS and LSA code. Let's start off with the most important one, Survival at Sea booklet. Under a real emergency situation, everyone will be panicking and draw a blank as to what to do. So once arrive at a lifeboat, first thing to do is open this book and start from here. It tells you step by step how to proceed and what to check for, like selecting a leader, assigning duties, checking that all hatches and opening are covered. Further down the book, you've even got what fish is edible, how to navigate by stars, and what birds is which. 
it really has everything you need to survive at sea. The designated rescue boat will have extra life jackets, immersion chutes, and a set of towing lines made of nylon. Seasick tablets. One of the first things that the Survival at Sea book will tell you is to distribute seasick pills and take one each. Throwing up inside the lifeboat affects everyone's well-being and morale. Might even cause a chain reaction. Buoyant oars. For rowing in the event, the engine runs out of fuel. Boat hooks. No, it's really just to grab things or lines. Sea anchor. This cone shaped anchor helps stabilize the boat. Thermal protective aids. You wear this like a cocoon to keep warm. Inside our pyrotechnic box, we have rocket parachute flares, buoyant smoke signal, and hand flares. The instructions are all printed on the items. Flares are best used at night. Smoke for daytime. Smoke and flares should be facing downwind to avoid blowback. Rocket parachute. Obviously, you should point it up. A lifeboat ration in water. Buoyant rescue quote. Toss it to a person in the water and pull them in. Fishing tackle to catch fish. Bailer to scoop water out if water gets into the boat. First aid kit. There's all kind of medical first aid items inside. Tin openers. Measuring cup to ration water. Dipper to grab water or sample the seabed. Hatchet to chop anything. What's what? Multi-purpose jackknife for a multi-purpose. You've thought of everything. Torch and spare battery. Spare whistle. Seasick bags. Signaling mirror. There's a hole at the back that is actually see-through. So during daytime, you point it at a ship and wiggle it around to reflect the sun ray. Hopefully, it'll catch the attention of the target ship. Life saving signal card. It's waterproof and ours comes in English and Chinese. Bucket. Radar reflector. It's often underestimated. This small aluminum thing can actually paint a target on radar as large as a 300 meter ship. Fire extinguisher, dry powder type, rain collector. Stick this outside when it rains and it will funnel the water through the tube. And that's it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. As always, if you got any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Join the discussion and I'll see you next time.